Hey guys, it's Cube Dude here, and today I have an unboxing of the GAN356 and the Fangxi Lim Cube Dreidel 3x3. Alright, so let's get into it. Uh, these packages, the tracking said it was going to come Saturday, but I can't get packages on the weekend, so that means I would have had to wait until Monday. But then, just got an email saying I got some uh, packages in. So, here's the Dreidel 3x3x3 by by Magic Cube. And for anybody that hasn't seen the Dreidel, I'll go ahead and open it up first. Once I get out the GAN 356, which I've been waiting for for a long time. I have since changed my main to a uh, Moyu Hualong. So, really excited to get this. Let's open it up from the bottom. Very, like, thin box. I can already tell. I'm just going to go ahead and rip it open. So first, it's pretty big. Let me compare it to a 57mm cube. Here's my Along V1. So it's pretty big, and as you guys can see, it looks sort of like a 3x3, but with a bunch of extra cuts. So what the cuts do, first of all, you can turn it like a 3x3. Turns pretty nice, considering how there's a bunch of pieces and it's not catching. That's pretty cool, and corner cuts a tiny bit. Uh, and the, I guess the dreidel part, if nobody knows what a dreidel is, it's like a Jewish gambling toy. It's like a, I guess, like a top you spin, and then if it lands on a certain side, you put in some some money or whatever. But uh, anyways, I think it's because of this. Now this turns pretty smoothly. A lot smoother than I was expecting. So I could turn it like that and then scramble it up like that. So that's how you scramble up this cube. And this cube can never be uh, bandaged, which is really cool. It can get pretty, it can look pretty crazy. I'll scramble it at the end of this video. But the color scheme is a little weird. You got red, gray, blue, pink, green, yellow. So that looks pretty cool. First turns, again, pretty smooth. Not catching on anything, even though there's a lot of pieces. And so let's move on to the GAN356, which I've been waiting for for so long. And they're kind of in limited stock, I think. Like, the black ones were out of stock very quickly on the cubicle.us, so go ahead and buy them, or buy it ASAP. If it's good, hopefully. I've heard great things about it. Uh, so it comes with these stickers. I have ordered my own sticker set for them. So I'll be re-stickering them with that. So it comes with a little plastic tool. I know some of them did come with metal ones in the past. This one comes with a plastic tensioning tool. For those of you that don't know, an octopus core that Gans uses uh, requires a certain tool to tighten them and loosen them. Alright, so here is my GAN 357 next to the 56, so you can see a small size difference, just a millimeter. And this was this was my main for about a year, it's my backup now. I haven't really done a lot of solves with it, so that might be why I haven't really been uh, liking it as much as the Hualong, which I've been solving a lot. Anyways, this feels kind of small compared to this. Even though it's just a one millimeter difference, it still makes a difference. So let's go ahead and do first turns. Alright, that's really smooth, really fast. Definitely when stickered, it will be a little bit better. Because it will be stickered and you can actually solve it. But let's do corner cutting out of the box. Wow, 45, over 45, that's with ease. I'm barely pushing this. In reverse easily line to line over not so much line to line is easy though so it's pretty good out of the box I'm gonna go ahead and head to my German class which I'm about to be late for sticker it during class and then I'll come back and then I will go ahead and scramble this as well as maybe do some solves on this maybe an average or two alright guys so I'm back and I've since stickered the scans it's only I've only been gone for about 50 minutes because of my class but I'm back, and I just wanted to come uh, here and scramble this, and maybe tell you a little bit more about this before I scramble it. So let's get into that. All right, so I'm back, and I've since stickered this. I like the stickers on it. My color scheme, I'll have it in the description if anybody wants. Uh, it turns really fast, really smooth. I'm going to do some averages right after this little clip, but I just wanted to quickly tell you guys that the LimCube series is Fangxi's line of non-WCA puzzles. And this is the first release of this line, so I'm pretty excited to see what else they have, considering how this first release is really cool. I'm sure there'll be some like simple ones, another one or other uh, 
complicated ones. But I'm really looking forward to seeing more from the Lim, uh, the Lim Cube series, and as well as Gans. Maybe they'll make a 4 by 4 who knows. But this might be my OH main. I'm going to go ahead and do some averages. Scramble this up right now for you guys. Maybe fast forward it, I'm not quite sure. But then hopefully have it solved by the end of the video. So first I'm just going to go ahead and scramble it like a 3 by 3 Alright, now let's do some turns. Let's just turn all of them, or three of them. I did kind of mess around with it, and I have watched maybe a minute or two of Twisty Puzzling's tutorial, but I'm going to try and get the rest without watching that. But first you have to get into the cubic shape and then sort of move these around. First I'm going to solve the inner 3x3. Three three. Sort of. Maybe just see if that gives any parity, because like these corners can turn. So I'll solve the inner 3x3 three three, uh, using these and then the corners and then I'll just kind of work off of those. Alright, so that looks pretty scrambled to me. I'm going to go ahead and try and solve this and then hopefully get back to you guys. And then I will also be doing some averages on this. Also, I decided to put my logos on the blue side, so when I go to compositions and stuff, I know which cubes are mine. All right, guys, so I'm back, and I've solved this once, and it was pretty easy, just it took a while, and uh, there's a lot of pieces to work with, so it's kind of hard to like look for the pieces. Also, as you guys know, and I mentioned every single video, I have trouble with the yellow and light green, so I found this cool effect on my phone where, like, if anyone else has this issue where two colors look similar and you don't know if like the cube is solved or not, I actually just Snapchatted my friend saying, "Is this whole entire side yellow?" And two of them said yes. But if you go on like the no ear N O I R uh, camera effect on your iPhone and you look at the yellow and then you look at the green, the green is basically black and the yellow is very very light gray, like almost like a white. And so it's pretty easy to tell that way. Uh, so I'm gonna start doing that for future solves with puzzles that have multiple colors. But anyways, I also moved the logo back onto the white side because I kept getting confused. I, I started doing like white cross on blue side and then that slowed me down. But I am getting basically the same times I am getting on my Hualong with this GANS. This GANS does feel a lot more stable than the uh, 57. It's not as smooth as mine. It's still extremely smooth, but not as smooth as my 57. And it is lubed. I'm going to quickly look at the pieces and this uh, to find the pieces of this. I'll go ahead and have a link in the description where you guys can check out the mechanism of that disassembly and assembly tutorial, I believe. I think Tony Fisher has one or someone else. All right, so on the right we have the 57 millimeter, and on the left we have the 56, the new one. And first, let's take a look at the core before. Uh, I have like one of the first versions of the GANS 357 without the reinforced plastic core. Uh, I think the newer ones do have a reinforced core where uh, there's like a webbing that's attaching them, kind of like the webbing of like a duck's feet, I guess, a duck's foot. Uh, and then this, it seems like it's very reinforced and it's metal now on uh, the sides, and it's just plastic in the middle, really, like holding it all together. And also, for some reason, it looks a lot smaller, but that's probably because it's a smaller cube and also a smaller core. So, let's go ahead and look at the pieces. As you can see, the core of this is basically black, except for the actual core part, for like the inside of the pieces. And here, they're like primary color. So, what I mean by that is this. So, here are the corners. On the right, we have the 57. On the left, we have the 56. And they have stayed with the dip right here. That's on both of them. It's a little bit bigger on this one, as you would imagine. And then the corners are kind of similar, except there's like an extra lip right there. And I believe these are caps you can take off on the centers, but uh, you have to unscrew those with some small screw. I don't have a screw or a screwdriver small enough, small enough to unscrew that. But you can unscrew it, take it apart, and you can add weights to it. I believe. I'm not sure if they sell separate weights or like they have somewhere where you can buy uh, certain weights. But I don't. They didn't come with the packaging in here. And I have heard that you can weight it, uh, weight the corners and edges to give them different feels. So let's take a look at the edges now. It's the same concept, basically, where you can take off this part. This lighter part is 
different than the black part and you can unscrew it and add weights I believe and here are the edges quite different uh, they kind of stuck with this part except for the torpedo is like longer rather than I think I don't really know how to explain it but you can see the differences here it's like they took this torpedo and like squished it that way and it went that way or, uh, vertically also one thing I've got to mention is that the corners and edges are fit together like this and they do both have ridges on it just like the 57 millimeter which I think is what gives it its smooth feel so my final thoughts on both of these this cube very fast very smooth not as smooth as the 57 it is pre lubed I really like the mechanism it's a lot more stable and that's one reason why people don't like the GAN 357 is because it feels a bit unstable and like kind of like wobbly and here it feels like one of the normal 3x3s that have been coming out or like one of the most recent 3x3s coming out in the market and anyways I think this will be my main OH or possibly a uh, candidate for my main 3x3 so I would highly recommend you guys will get this I'll have a link to where you can buy it down in the description again the corner cutting is very nice that's with ease and reverse is line to line with ease so the Dreadnought 3 by 3 I highly recommend that you guys you'll get it it's about 38 or 39 dollars on the cubicle.us I will have a link in the description down below to where you can buy this as well as the 356 scans and it's very smooth on the 3 by 3 turns and the corner which I think are like the dreidel turns are very smooth on all corners uh, it's very fun to solve it does take a little bit of time after one solve uh, there are no issues. There were no issues during that one solve, as I probably mentioned before. But anyways, I would highly recommend both of these puzzles. If you guys are more into the WCA stuff, try out the GAN 356. It's a lot different than the GAN 357, uh, as in it's more stable. And that's one problem that most GANs puzzles have had. This is the most stable GAN 3x3 on the market, in my opinion. And so if that's one reason you didn't like GANs, then I would highly recommend you guys try out the GAN 356. Or if you guys are not a big fan of 56mm cubes, then I wouldn't get it. But, I think it's worth a shot. Anyways, that's it for the unboxing. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. This video's letters are MSD. I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching.